thanks everyone for being here. Jan at Green Venture Summit, thanks for inviting Tesla to be here. Interesting place, uh, Cafe Moscow on the roof. There's the Sputnik, 60 centimeters, about 80 kilos. Started the space race, small but mighty, and basically changed the way, let's say, uh, the superpowers uh, developed over the last years. And the interesting thing there is, when you see the Sputnik, you really don't expect it to look like it does, yeah? And I think that the same thing can be said about the electric car you see downstairs. Most people don't know it's electric. And that's what we like about that, because it's a normal car. The title of the presentation was actually, E-Mobility is a Reality. And I think that Tesla Motors has venture capital and green sustainable thinking to thank for where it is today because effectively it takes someone to bet on a big idea, stay behind it to really push it through to make it successful. A lot of crea creative ideas are out there. The electric car is a definitely a creative idea, but it's been around for a very long time. So there's over 100 years of history behind the electric car. Now it's up to a number of players in the world of automotive to change that. And that's one of the reasons I'm very grateful to be here today on behalf of Tesla to say uh, thank you for people who do believe in big changes, that do believe in disruptive technology for the better of the planet. And I can safely say also that this change in being sustainable also means that you can have a hell of a lot of fun at the same time as well. And that's the really great part about it. So I do have a PowerPoint, but uh, I, I don't want to stick to it too much because most of these things you already know. Some of the factors standing behind the fact that electromobility is one of the things that we have to move forward with in order to ensure mobility for humanity in the future. You see the reasons here. Many of them over the last months and years have become significant in changing the way customers, consumers, uh, our political heads of state think about mobility. Some of them are more dire than others, but I think the key issue is that consumers are becoming much more conscious, socially, ethically, responsibly about uh, how they live and how they consume, and they're becoming greener than ever. And that's one reason that electric mobility can offer solutions there. So what do you see as a product? The product that you see there is basically a car that is a sports car, something also unexpected. This car will accelerate to 0 to 100 in about 3.7 seconds, so I invite you, if you'd like to go on a test ride afterwards, to enjoy that with us. We have a range of about 250 miles, uh, 350 kilometers roughly. We're driving regularly from Munich to Zurich with one charge, about 11 euros of natural energy, and I haven't tanked a regular car since 2008. Just riding in a Tesla or an electric bike or using my legs, sometimes a plane when the volcanoes aren't making a problem. And this product was developed starting in 2003, also in a venture capital project. Focused on disruptive technology around electric drivetrains based out of Silicon Valley. So uh, Rolf Schumann, who's no longer here, I wanted to compliment on him on his comparison of hybrid cars to McDonald's and Coke Light. Uh, Coke Light happens to also be, I used to work at Coca-Cola, so I know it also has the best margin in the Coca-Cola company, so when you go and buy the Coke Light, that makes everybody happy, doesn't it? The point is, the Silicon Valley and uh, our neighbors, a uh, better place, our neighbors across the street, SAP, up the street, Google and Apple and co, uh, saw that there is a way to use technology to make electric cars, and they, they bring together the best of Silicon Valley, that is disruptive thinking, uh, agility, speed, uh, and incorporate that into a uh, beautiful car. We have around 365 employees. Right now, working on the project Roadster, Roadster Sport, which you see downstairs, as well as the Model S, our next car coming in 2012, and other projects, including the Smart uh, A-Class and some other projects that are in the pipeline. And we've also expanded very aggressively over the last two years. Uh, I was effectively the third or fourth employee on the marketing side for Europe uh, in 2008. Uh, since then, we've got around 35 people working uh, for Tesla in Europe. Uh, we now have stores in London, uh, Munich, Monaco, in addition to our seven locations in the U.S. 
And to that, we'll add Zurich, Milan, Copenhagen uh, very quickly, Hamburg, Frankfurt, Vienna, and some other cities uh, naturally will come in very quickly. Right now, San Carlos, California, excuse me, uh, Palo Alto, California is our battery development uh, as well as motor development facility. Also, the house is our uh, majority of our engineering. And we also have in Los Angeles at the second startup from our uh, CEO and product architect, Elon Musk, where he has uh, another company called SpaceX, uh, where he is building and, uh, let's say, re, uh, rethinking how uh, space travel could look over the next years. Uh, he will have a, a launch of uh, the Dragon 9 rocket tomorrow, so we're looking forward to that as well. And we have a styling studio and engineering office also in California, in, uh, sorry, in LA. So how does it look? Uh, what are we doing? We're bringing a product to market with the intent to make sure that electric cars become an industry norm as soon as possible. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we first of all concentrate on design. That's the number one purchase or reason for a car, a premium car. Uh, we bring performance. Uh, we have performance roughly of a Porsche GT3 in the car, electric car you see outside. And then we add to that the efficiency and environmental friendliness of the opportunity to charge the car with green sustainable uh, fuels. That is wind, water, sun. Naturally, that is not a... Uh, Given uh, our customers do charge with, uh, with renewable energies, but that's something we have to continue to push. Uh, in the past, you had a choice of gas or diesel, and most everyone knows where it comes from. But in the future, with renewable resources, you'll have a chance to choose uh, a number of different uh, sources of energy. And we believe that through the emotionalizing of energy, through the use of a car, and through, uh, through let's say, the uh, communication of the importance of mobility, that someone will choose actually a renewable source over any other. So 2008, we were on the street with the first Roadsters. That means we're already on the road for two years, over two years. We've delivered over 1,100 cars now. Around 250 are already on streets in Europe, 70 in Germany, just so that you know. Uh, about twin, uh, 45 are now in Switzerland, uh, one of our funnest markets to work in. Uh, 2011, we'll, be, we'll have the Model S on the road in the US, uh, delivering in 2012. And then we'll imagine some additional products to come into play in the next months and years.